what's up youtubers it's your girl shannon from evie and chill and today i'm gonna keep this video short and sweet kind of like myself uh, but today i'm gonna share with you a little bit more about our fsd safety score and how we got fsd beta so early now you might remember in my last video i shared with you my thoughts and feelings on fsd beta and we went on a quick drive through dc and I also shared with you that at one point, like our safety score was at like a 95. Eventually we did get it up to a 96, but you guys, I use the stats app and to get to like a perfect score, to get FSD beta when it was gonna be released, the stats app told me that I had to drive over 10,000 miles to improve my score. And you guys, that is mission impossible. That would be as Gwen Stefani would say, bananas. There would be no way I could drive 10,000 miles in just a few days. I don't know the circumference of the earth, but it sounds about right. That was not happening. So at that point, I had to take matters into my own hands because you guys, I wanted FSD beta ASAP. So what I did was I watched a YouTube video and I did some really deep dives into Reddit threads and you guys, they have some good stuff on Reddit. Okay, so I found where people were talking about kind of this glitch or this hack. And again, I don't wanna say I exploited the system. Ethically, that can be up to you on how you determine it. Uh, but basically, I wanted to try this hack that I found because I think that's just really good ingenuity. And so I basically tried the hack, it worked, and I got FSD beta. Now I'm not gonna guarantee that it's gonna work for you, I don't know that, but it worked for me. So let's not waste time, let me get to it, let me share with you what I did. Now come on over here. Okay, and actually, you guys, I hate it when YouTubers do this, but I'm gonna do it right now. But it's my channel. Also, my nails go with my shirt perfectly. How great is that? That was an accident. I'm also gonna plug real quickly my website. What? Step into my car shop, you guys. Look at this merch. Okay, it's got a Mustang. I know we're in a Tesla right now, but Mustang Mach E right here. Really cool, long sleeve shirt. And I've got my hats. I would sell them to you from my car, but that doesn't sound safe. So check out the website, let me know what you think. Get yourself some cool merch. I mean, if you drive an EV, you're already a cool person, so why not show the rest of the world when you're not in your vehicle by wearing some EV and chill stuff? So this is what I did, this is how I got FSD beta. I went into my car, got in my Tesla, step one. Okay, and take a look here, you guys. This car icon, we're simply gonna tap that icon. It's gonna pull up this menu here. We're gonna go to autopilot, of course. And all I did was I unenrolled in FSD beta. That's it, I unenrolled it. So after unenrolling in the FSD beta queue, I let the car go to sleep. That was it, it just needed to sleep it off. Okay, so the next morning, woke up, checked my Tesla app, and you guys, all of my safety score data had been erased. It was reset, deleted, not there. So came back out to my car and basically just did the reverse. I went back here, clicked on the car icon, went back to autopilot, and then I just re-enrolled in the FSD beta queue. Okay, now here's where things can get a little bit tricky. So once I re-enrolled, then I had to drive 100 miles, and I think technically I drove like 141 miles, but I drove 100 miles at a perfect safety score. Okay, now I know that might sound impossible to some of you, especially if you live in like crowded areas, if you live in cities, like we live in DC, and I'm gonna share with you another hack on how you can kind of mitigate that in a second here. Uh, but basically, we drove 100 miles, I think 141, like I said, and then once we hit that 100, once we had that perfect score, we parked it in our garage and we did not even touch the Tesla. And then two days after that, we got the email saying that we were gonna get FSD beta. What? Yes, I nearly peed my pants. I didn't, but I came close. Okay, but we were so excited. We could not wait. Now we have it. Again, you can say maybe that's not ethical. You can say it's ingenuity. I like to think it's ingenuity because you guys, I wanted it. And now I have it. Now here's how you can mitigate a negative safety score. Now for us, we live in DC, we do a lot of city driving. Maybe you live in LA, wherever you live people, there are crazy drivers everywhere. Um, so you know what's gonna happen, this is real life people. So you're driving and maybe someone cuts in front of you. Now you don't want that to negatively impact your forward collision warning. You don't want that to dink your unsafe following. So here's what you do, just hold down the two scroll wheels you guys, and that is gonna reset that drive so that drive will not count. So that is a trick, that's gonna erase your last drive. So that's another thing we had figured out. That was something that helped us when we were driving to get to that 100 miles at a perfect score. Uh, we used that quite a few times, unfortunately. <laughs> so that worked for us. Again, I can't guarantee it's gonna work for you, but again, that is how we got FSD beta. 
But that is it, you guys. Those are the hacks that I have to share with you. Also, don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. It takes one second out of your day and it'll make me feel better. It helps our channel to grow so we can make more videos for you. Also, if you have any questions or comments, drop that below too. Well, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.